The 458 Speciale is one of the most aspirational supercars ever made, regarded as one of the most beautiful Ferraris. I mean, just look at it. Alongside having a phenomenal driving experience. But here's the thing. A good 458 Speciale will set you back around £350,000, whereas a good 458 Italia, which this car is based on, will set you back between £120,000 to £140,000. Does the 458 Speciale provide £200,000 more of an ownership experience over a 458 Italia? Today we're going to find out. Today's video is presented in partnership with Hampson Auctions, one of the UK's leading classic, performance and supercar auction houses. Their next sale takes place on the 24th of November at the magnificent Bolsworth Castle in Cheshire. The 458 Speciale is known as a Vergiani Speciale Ferrari model. The first Vergiani Speciale was the 348 Competizione. Then came the 360 Challenge Stradale then the 430 Scuderia and then 430 16M and then the 458 Speciale. There's two models of the 458 Speciale, the 458 Speciale Coupe and the 458 Speciale Aperta, Aperta meaning open, which in effect is the spider model. Around 3,000 total 458 Speciales were made, made up of 2,501 Coupes, and 499 Apertas. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take you for a walk around the specification of this particular 458 Speciale, then we're going to take it down the road and see how it drives and see how it compares to the 458 Italia. So first of all, before we go any further, I just want to say thank you very much to the owner for providing us with this beautiful 458 Speciale to review for our channel. Very, very much appreciated. 458 Speciales were in production from 2013 to 2015 and this is a 2015 458 Speciale Coupe and it's a late September build so it's one of the last Speciales that were ever made. The specification of this car on its exterior is this is resplendent in Rosso Corsa with the blue Nart stripe over a black Nero interior with 3D fabric centers on the seats but we'll get more onto the interior as we move around to that section. Walking around the car, I'm going to mostly focus on the items that are optioned above the standard specification for a Speciale, because the Specialis were very highly optioned as standard anyway. So this particular car has carbon fibre vents for the aero in the front, whereas their normal standard polycarbonate type material in the front here. Moving around to the side, it has Grigio alloy wheels with red calipers and these calipers by the way come from the La Ferrari so the same calipers as a La Ferrari. Also interestingly the CCDs the carbon ceramic discs are a different material to the standard 458 they're a lot more grippy they changed they changed the composite material that's used in the 458 Speciale mostly because the, four, the standard 458 carbon ceramics aren't actually that great. The side nolders, these are called nolders, would you believe it? These side nolders are optioned in carbon fibre, whereas they'd normally be in standard bodywork colour, so these are carbon fibre. Moving around to the rear of the car, the whole rear diffuser is in carbon fibre, and this car also has the what's called sports exhaust, which in effect is these black sports exhaust tips. And we're just going to move now to the engine compartment, because that's been highly optioned as well. So standard on the 458 Speciale, you get carbon fiber air filters and carbon fiber plenum chambers, but this has to be optioned over and above the standard specs. So this has been optioned with these side engine bay panels, which is absolutely beautiful. It really sets off the engine bay. While we're here, we'll talk about the engine as well. This is a naturally aspirated 4.5 liter V8, pushing out 597 brake horsepower, 398 pound-foot of torque and will scream this Ferrari Speciale from 0 to 62 in 3.0 seconds to a top speed of around 202 miles per hour. And it's important for me to emphasize here, this is naturally aspirated, so the 458 Speciale and the 458 Speciale Aperta are the last Ferrari supercars to be naturally aspirated. After that, they're turbocharged and then hybrid. Also, to point out as well, 
this car has a titanium oil filler cap here so that is very special this titanium oil filler cap that is not standard that is quite an additional cost option i think you'd agree this car is absolutely stunning and of course the engine bay is stunning i'm just going to talk a little bit more now about this stripe this stripe is not a sticker this stripe is painted on top of the rosso corsa paintwork and then they they put a lacquer across the whole bodywork so first of all they spray the car red they spray it rosso corsa then they put this intricate stripe this intricate stripe has sprayed the full length of the car above the rosso corsa paintwork then after they've put this stripe on the car they then lacquer over the whole car so if you feel the stripe on the roof you can't feel anything but where the paint collects and is a bit thicker you can slightly feel a slight raising where the stripe is painted underneath the lacquer but it's a real problem if you damage this stripe then to correct it you have to take the car all the way back to Marinello to Zanisi which is behind Marinello to get the stripe repaired it is a nightmare but it's quite an expensive cost option as well this stripe and this is what's called launch specification so this is a specification that everybody is after this is in my opinion the perfect spe specification for a 458 speciale absolutely stunning so now we're going to move to the interior and talk you through this very very special interior of a 458 speciale first of all the 458 speciale is very luxurious in its racing styling remember this is a track focused car but it's not as track focused it's not as cut back and as bare as something like a 430 scuderia so you've still got carpets and still got mats but it's still quite bare. You've got this bare aluminium here, whether you've got the seal covers or the top of the seal sections, and there's bare aluminium in the side. And underneath the seats, you haven't got any carpet. It's just bare, bare chassis. Interior, we've got this beautiful black Alcantara interior across the dash and underneath the dash with this lovely red contrasting stitching. It really offsets the black Alcantara beautifully. Also, the roof is optioned in black Alcantara. Again, that is not standard in a 458 Speciale. The seats also black Alcantara, which is standard. We've got this obviously these beautiful 458 racing seats, which people should recognize from my 458 Spider. This is just, these are just absolutely stunning. Center, you've got this 3D fabric, which is quite hard wearing. And this again is an additional option. This isn't standard. The rest of the standard specification is, of course, the carpets. You've got this side Alcantara here, which is, a, which, is a sta which is an additional option. This isn't standard. You've got the Alcantara center console and, of course, the carbon fiber bridge. That is standard in, in that specification. This car also has the fire extinguisher. Although being a 2015 car, nine years old, that fire extinguisher will no longer be able to be, you know, sh or should be used. It, it should be actually refilled. So it's more for show than anything else, really, because you should change or you should get your fire extinguishers refilled on a fairly regular basis. Otherwise, you can't guarantee they're going to function. Also, people will recognize this is a carbon fiber driving zone, but this is standard specification. So you've got all this carbon fiber. This is all standard specification. This is a very luxurious place to be when you consider that this is a very track focused car. Also, pulling back the seats again, you've got this netting behind. This is your storage area. So you don't have an extensive amount of storage in this car, but this back parcel shelf here does provide quite a bit for soft bags. So if you do take the car on any sort of overnight stage, you can put some soft bags behind here and put some bits and pieces in your netting. And also with these beautiful standard carbon fiber door panels and door cards, you have got some netting in here as well which allows you to put bits and pieces in there you can see i've put my glasses and my phone in there as well this car is also optioned with the additional audio stereo system so it has the gps and infotainment system here as well so you have a dab radio which again was an additional spec option it wasn't standard if you were looking to purchase your first supercar or add a car to your collection rich reviews has already helped multiple owners secure their dream supercar we have a mix and match of services to help take the pain away to ensure a happy, memorable purchase away from the stress that can be caused by car research and dealing negotiations. Our mix and match of services include telephone support calls, pre-purchase inspection and car collection video. For more information, please contact me via a message in the comments below or at the following email address.
in the 458 Speciale. Another car ticked off my dream car list. Thank you very much again to the owner of this stunning 458 Speciale. It's the true wish list car. This is launch spec, so this is the perfect configuration for this car. And it just looks absolutely stunning, especially in this line. I'm currently driving in sport mode, so I can give you an appreciation of a comparison between sport and race mode. And we've got some fantastic roads here in Wales that we're driving on. First of all, we'll talk a bit about the internal ergonomics of the 458 Speciale. If we compare it to the 458 Italia, there is no comparison. This is just stunning. This is about as much perfection as you can get for this type of car, for the last naturally aspirated Ferrari supercar. It doesn't get any better. This interior is stunning. The driving position is pretty much perfect. The only thing I would say is that the seat's a little bit lower than I'd hoped. Um, that's because you have to have a good old Meccano kit to raise these seats up because they're fixed. Some cars had the very, very rare height adjuster, the ramp kit, where you could automatically adjust up the seats with like a ramp lever. This doesn't have that. If to adjust the seat a little bit higher, you've got to get your, your torque it out and you've got to adjust the seat on its rails. Speciale weighs 1,395 kilograms, whereas the 458 Italia weighs 1,485 kilograms. So you've got 90 kilograms difference. The 458 Speciale is 90 kilograms lighter. And some of that is in the soundproofing for sure, because you can hear every little bit of gravel that hits the underneath of this car, and that hits the wheel arches, because the wheel arch liners are substantially thinner than the standard 458 Italia and Spider wheel arch liners. Instantly, I can feel this fair amount of difference between this and the 458 Italia. Now, the 458 Italia straight through piped car that we drove had pretty much the same brake horsepower as this car with its straight piped exhaust, but this is still a lot more agile. The 458 Speciale is 597 brake horsepower. The 458 Italia is 562 brake horsepower standard and you can definitely feel the difference. What I've noticed with this car is that the gear change is definitely a lot sharper than the 458 Italia. So the software has definitely been uplifted or has been changed in its configuration to provide a lot snappier gear changes. And at the moment, I'm only in sport mode. Also, the suspension is definitely firmer than the 458 Italia. And it provides you with that flatter response round corners and it also helps the front to dig in a lot quicker. The steering is just about as fast as the Italia and the Spider, but because the suspension is firmer and because of the setup for the Speciale, you can feel a lot more for this through the steering, whereas the 458 Italia and 458 um, Spider, I would say, is a little bit numb on the steering feel. And you don't really know the difference really until you sort of have a comparison to make. So this definitely talks to you a lot more. Um, with regards to the feel through the steering wheel. Probably because of the firmer setup on the suspension, that definitely will help quite a bit. Like this. And first of all, 
the comparisons you can tell between this and the Spyder is of course this is Torter and firmer on its suspension. And it's just that little bit sharper when you really punch it as you'd expect. You can feel the front really bite in and pull the rear round. Just a little bit more sharper than the 458 Italia. And the engine with that slight increase in brake horsepower, around 40 brake horsepower more, is just a little bit quicker to rev. slight nuances but all these nuances all these little adjustments and all these little additions put together make a substantial difference of course the key question is does it make 200,000 pounds difference version so this is tuned and configured to be a lot more snappier than the California edition and then the standard 458 edition to be honest so the 458 special is incrementally better than the 458 Italia incrementally better on performance, incrementally better on agility, stiffer chassis, reaction and speed on the gear change, incrementally better. Same torque by the way, the 458 Italia and the 458 Speciale both have 398 pound foot of torque. So it's mainly the brake horsepower that's uplifted in the Speciale when you talk about performance. sharper than the Italia, definitely a lot sharper. But as I said, all these things come together to provide a substantial difference. All these incremental changes provide a substantial change overall. The Speciale has 597 brake horsepower and 398 pound foot of torque. It is 90 kilograms lighter than the 458 Italia. The 458 Italia is 1,485 kilograms, whereas the 458 Speciale is 1,395 kilograms. 
So it's only 90 kilograms difference. So you've got these incremental differences between the two, between the 458 Speciale and the 458 Italia. And is a 458 Speciale worth 200,000 pounds more than a 458 Italia? 458 Specialis are good ones, 350,000 pounds. A good 458 Italia, 120 to 140,000 pounds at the moment. So that's around 200,000 pounds premium for getting yourself into a 458 Speciale. Yes, it is. This is special. There's only 3,000, apparently, 458 Specialis in the world. And there's only 2,501 458 Speciali Coupes. And this is one of them. So if you want to have that premium drive, then you're gonna have to pay 350,000 pounds. And is it worth it? I think you know the answer to that. Hell yes. And I'm gonna have one of these. I will have one of these in the future. I did own one for a very short period of time. Maybe the subject for another video there. But I will own one of these in the future. I will own one of these. And if you're not convinced how special a 458 Speciale is, and if you need a little bit more convincing, then check out the video here that I'm linking. And also the video will be linked in the description below. And that's the Jeffro Bovington 458 Speciale Aperta video, Driving in the Rain. If that doesn't convince you, and this doesn't convince you, then you're not a car guy. You're not a car person. Thank uh you. -huh.